Hi folks, this is Jake. I hope you are okay. We're looking at the book of Baruch, uh, an ancient uh, writing, and asking is there any information about Jesus in the book. Um, the answer to that is, um, n I don't think so, but the, the book provides a backdrop of the kind of writing that Jesus would have been reading as a young man. Um, Aloysius uh, Fitzgerald comments on the ostensible date of 582 CE4 Baruch. There are, however, good reasons for assigning a much later date to these various parts. First, certain things indicate that the account is present is not history in the sense that the narrative of kings are history. Consequently, the indications of the date of composition in the book itself must be viewed in this light. The historical books know nothing of the return of the sacred vessels and the source of the account seems obvious enough. There is a contradiction between the prayer itself which presumes that the temple is in ruins and the int introduction which presumes that the temple is standing and that the normal worship is carried out there. Belshazzar is not the son of Nebuchadnezzar who destroyed Jerusalem but of Nabonidus, the last Chaldean king. This confusion could not have existed at the time when the prayer is said to have been written, although this telescoping of history, also found in Daniel 5, 1, seems to have been a commonplace in later Jewish tradition. So that's a little bit about the book. Uh, basically the book's uh, a lamentation. Um, so we'll just read a little bit. Get the text. Sorry about this. Just a, a few lines of the book, just to give you a feel for how it reads. These are the words of the book that Baruch, son of Neriah, son of Masaiah, son of Zedekiah, son of Hasidiah, son of Hilkinah, wrote in Babylon. In the fifth year, on the seventh day of the month, at the time when the Chaldeans took Jerusalem and burned it with fire, Baruch read the words of this book to Jehoiniah, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah to all the people who came to hear the book, to the nobles and the princes. Then they wept and fasted and prayed before the Lord. They collected as much money as each could give and sent it to Jerusalem to the high priest Jehoiakim, son of Hilkanah, son of Shalom, and to the priests and to all the people who were present with him in Jerusalem. We have disobeyed him and have not heeded the voice of the Lord. Um, so there's nothing in there that would... Um, about Jesus because it was written before uh, Jesus but it, it's an important document in that it gives us a bit of background as to what Jewish people would have been thinking in the time of Jesus alright so thank you for listening and take care